Hey everyone, welcome to the Mariel Header. My name is Mariel, and today I did a Calavera of Talavera, no, Talavera Calavera look on my friend Alexia. Oh my gosh, she looks so beautiful. So this took forever, but look, here, here she is, wow. So you're gonna get to see the full length version of the makeup with brand information and products. So you can achieve this look, but head over to Artelexia at Artelexia everywhere. <laughs> Artelexia.com, right? Yes. Her website, you'll see in the little short version there. So yeah, fun times. All right, see ya. Before we get started, I just want to talk to you really quick about the inspiration for this look. First of all, uh, this look was created way in advance of Dia de Muertos so people could see if they have all the materials they need to paint on a calavera face for Dia de Muertos and order them if need be, you know, for the occasion. Um, if you are going to put on calavera makeup or as some people call it sugar skull makeup, please be very respectful of Dia de Muertos as an important cultural tradition in Mexico and truly understand the meaning of what you're putting on. Don't just do it because it looks cool. You can just put on regular old skeleton makeup without appropriation. Okay, with that said, <laughs> Alexia wanted to do a unique calavera look to post on her Instagram and on her blog. We wanted to create one where the patterns on the face were based on something that you would see in either Mexican embroidery or um, Mexican pottery. And we immediately came up with a bunch of ideas. I sketched out a few of them. Uh, one was based on Otomi embroidery. And the one that really stood out was this Talavera idea. So Alexia decided to go with the Talavera design. I was super happy. I was really excited to do it. And that's why we created the look. Uh, so for those of you who are stopping by my channel for the first time, I just want you to know that as always, all of my looks are created with cruelty-free and vegan makeup. You can find all of these products online. All right, and here is the process. First, I prepped Alexia's face for the full Calavera experience. I cleansed the skin with the Andalou Natural Sensitive Micellar Facial Swipes. Then I applied some Derma E Hydrating Serum with a damp Eco Tools Perfecting Blender Sponge. Then I applied a few spritzes of the Crystal Power Hydro Mist by Pacifica and a little bit of a Ladybug Crazy Coconut Lip Balm to hydrate her lips. The first step in creating a calavera look is to map out where the big eye sockets are going to go. I'm using the Natural Eye Pencil in Black by Antonym Cosmetics to figure out the placement. I asked Alexia to look straight forward and I made little dots above her eyebrows in line with her pupils. I made a little mark there and that's going to be the highest point of the eye sockets. I did the same under the eyes, just about in line with her actual orbital bone and on the side of the eyes too. It doesn't have to be perfect as you draw and paint on the face. You will be able to make these bigger or smaller as you go along, so don't worry about it. This is just a guide. With a synthetic medium rounded edge foundation brush, this one's from BH Cosmetics, I picked up some black water-based face paint. This is the Meron Cosmetics Paradise Makeup AQ Paint in black. I painted the circumference of the eye socket first, so it will be easier to fill it in. Make sure to really cover the brow with the black paint. Brush it into the brow really, really well. Go back and forth so you cover up all of the skin underneath the brow hairs. Then I grabbed the Halloween Edition Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Multi Stick Body Crayon. That's a mouthful. In black and I brought in the color closer to the lid. This is creamier than face paint, so it'll be easier to blend eyeshadows on it. Then I set the multi-stick with a black eyeshadow. I used the pressed eyeshadow in Bulletproof by Sugar Pill Cosmetics, and I used a random fluffy blending brush. Then I took the pearl multi-stick and applied it to the center of the lid. This will act as a base for the eyeshadows I'm going to use to create a blue halo eye. Then I applied the Velocity Pressed Eyeshadow, also by Sugar Pill, on the outer part of the lid and then Candy Crush, also by Sugar Pill, in the center. Okay, onto the face. With the Eco Tools Classic Foundation Brush, I applied a thin layer of white water-based face paint. Again, it's the Paradise Makeup AQ from Meron. 
You can leave the lips untouched and cover them up till the very end so you can, I don't know, eat or drink if you have to during this whole process. Now a little tip for me is to not get the pan or the brush too wet. Don't oversaturate it or else it'll take forever for the paint to dry. Apply it in short strokes and if you see streaks, you can do what I did and blend them out with a damp sponge. Make sure to go carefully around the eye sockets and don't get too close to the black paint or it will blend out and turn gray. You can use a smaller brush to paint around the socket, just go slow and be careful. After the first layer of white paint dries, you can go back and paint on a second layer. This is going to make the color more opaque and more skeletal. With a small rounded synthetic brush, pick up some dark blue Paradise Makeup AQ paint and make some small petal-like strokes all around the eye sockets. You can use a smaller craft brush to clean up the edges and paint in any spots you missed. Then take some light blue Paradise Makeup AQ paint and outline the dark blue scalloped edge. This is what it should look like. Then grab the same light blue color and paint on some dots inside the blue petals. Oh, and P.S. You can use a clean spoolie to clean your lashes if you have any eyeshadow fallout. Then take a black gel eyeliner. I use this one from Sigma to line the eyes. Make sure to cover the waterline too. Set it with a little black eyeshadow. You can apply it with a brush with tightly packed short bristles. I use the Wet n Wild Smoky Liner Brush. It's so good and so inexpensive. Okay, on to the Talavera pattern. For this, I heavily referenced pictures of Talavera pottery and I literally copied the patterns. The ones on the forehead were adapted a little bit to follow the hairline. So just take your dark blue paint, a small synthetic crafting brush, and go to town. There's no real way to explain this except uh, paint. <laughs> Don't be too harsh on yourself if the lines aren't perfect. All you gotta do is let them dry and clean them up later with a little bit of white paint. Now paint in little dots, lines, and other details with the light blue paint. This complements the outline of the scalloped edge we did on the eye sockets. And a lot of Talavera has both dark and light blue lines. So just use your creativity. Now you can paint the lips with the Paradise Makeup AQ or you can use a white liquid lipstick like Drug Lord by Jeffree Star if you need it to last longer. Now grab a warm gray eyeshadow, something in the taupe range to contour under the cheekbones, on the outer perimeter of the face, and under the chin. Carefully blend it into the white face paint. I used the color Assimilate by Melt Cosmetics and I applied it with a Sigma F35 tapered brush. Then apply a peachy or coral colored blush. I used the Suburbia eyeshadow from Sugar Pill because it's very pigmented and it showed up better on camera. You can obviously use any other blush you want. Then grab your black pencil liner again and draw on the nasal cavity. One of my pet peeves is how people draw on their noses in Sugar Skull makeup looks. An actual nose cavity looks like an inverted heart with a line going down the middle. Not like a puppy dog nose or spade or anything else I've seen. Mine's just a little sharper than an actual skull nasal cavity, but you get the point. <laughs> Now that your nose is on, take a white eyeshadow and a big brush, I use the EcoTools fan brush, and carefully apply it over the exposed white face paint. I use the color Taco by Sugar Pill. Now draw on the teeth lines with a super thin brush and your black face paint. Start with the middle of the top lip. You can use your actual teeth as guides. Be sure to follow the curviness of the lips and start your brush strokes from the inner part of the lip outward. Then extend the smile line of the lips outward. Grab the same taupe eyeshadow you used to contour and a skinny brush and paint the inside part of your lips. This will give them more depth and dimension. Last but not least, apply on some thick, thick, thick false eyelashes. This makes the calavera look very flirty and it complements the big dark eye sockets really well. It makes them really stand out. I use the fluffiest, densest, and darkest lashes from Ardell I could find. Apply those on the top lashes and then get some pixie lashes. 
those are the little spiky ones from Mardell and apply those to the bottom lash line. I put these really far down the lid, pretty far away from the lower lash line so you can actually see them. I really like the effect it gives but you can apply them really close to the lash line if you want. Then I grabbed a clean spoolie to marry the fake lashes with Alexia's actual lashes but you can put on mascara if you want to. And that is it. Wow, that was a long tutorial. This look took two hours to put on. I know sometimes I get a little carried away with my super extremely detailed tutorials, but hey, that's the point of this. It was all so worth it. Alexia looks so beautiful and she loved the Talavera, Calavera look so much. I was really happy and proud. I hope you really like the results too. So if you use my tutorial to create your own Calavera look or if you replicate this Talavera, Calavera look, please let me know. Tag me in your pictures on Instagram at the Mariel Header. I would love it. I really want to see your looks. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video with a friend. I would really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. And until then, bye.